What's up girls? Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today or if it's your first time. Hey, I'm Anna and today I have a mascara for beginners tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you the tools you need that are affordable. Everything is less than six dollars and it's going to go over six steps to like really being good at wearing mascara. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. I post weekly Devo or devotional videos here on my channel. It's called hashtag Dear Diary. It's for Christian girls who want to share living their lives for Jesus with a community of other girls here on my channel I post my Devo videos every Tuesday night at 8 30 p.m. and this week there's a bonus Devo posting Friday but let's go ahead and get into this tutorial all right girls over the six products that I think you need to have before you start practicing and getting better with mascara. First you need to have a mascara. This is L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Curved Brush Mascara in the color black brown. The next essential to have, this is less than $3 at Walmart, it's the Equate Beauty Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. The third product you want to make sure to have are some cotton rounds. These are Swispers brand and it's 100 count hypoallergenic 100% cotton rounds. Next thing you want to make sure you have are some Q-tips and those are for cleaning up mistakes. Next you want to make sure that you have a spoolie brush. A spoolie brush is something you can just pick up at the makeup tester counter at Ulta. And the last thing you may need, you may not need this, this is kind of optional, but if you have eyelashes that Grow very straight down or just straight out you want to have an eyelash curler I got this for about two dollars on clearance at Walgreens so the first thing you want to do is purchase your very own mascara never 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 share mascara or eyeliner or any eye product with anyone else that you know even if they're in your family like your mom or your sister because the problem is is that you are sharing not just mascara but you're sharing the bacteria you just don't want to get a sty styes can be a little bit painful it's where this little pore here it gets some bacteria in it from sharing mascara or something similar it clogs up it can get red it can get really big it can be painful it can impair your vision so don't share eye products step number two start with clean and fresh eyelashes if you have any sleep in or around your eyes make sure you kind of wash that off and if you have on last night's mascara make sure that you take that off gently with an eye makeup remover you want to have nothing on your eyelashes when you're about to apply new mascara. Step number three, wash your hands. Again, we don't want to share bacteria. Step number four is to curl your eyelashes if you need to. So the first thing you do is you get your eyelash curler, then you're going to, <clears throat> this is going to look a little weird, but you're going to gently and carefully and slowly bring this over here, grab your eyelashes till there's just a little bit peeking up, and then you're going to pulse it. See how my fingers are like squeezing? and then you're gonna turn it up. You can see this looks so frightening. It's not frightening and it does not hurt if you do it correctly. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell a difference. Can I? Yeah, I can tell a little bit of a difference. So another thing that I see beginners doing is they will put on their mascara and then curl their eyelashes. And I mean, you can do that, but you might be ripping out some eyelashes because it's gonna get tacky and sticky and then it's gonna be pulling at your natural lashes and you don't wanna have thin lashes. All right, step number five is to apply your mascara. So number one thing, you will see people take out their wand and then pump it like this. Don't do that, it dries out your mascara. You may have already heard that on YouTube before, but when you do that, you just need to do this. Dip it in once, roll it around, and then pull it out and then I kinda pop it like that because sometimes you'll get a big clump on the very tip. I hope you can see that. You'll get a big clump on the very tip and I'm just trying to get that extra clump so I don't like put mascara in the inner part of my eye. And then try to get as close to your tight line which, oh see, I already made a mistake. I'll show you how to clean that up in a minute. So you're gonna do this and you're gonna come to the base and you're gonna kind of curl it up, curl it up. Okay. And then you're just gonna flick it like this and that right there I would say that that is one coat I know I like hit it a bunch of times but I would say that's one coat I think you should do about one to three coats so see how I made that mistake right you want to let that dry for at least 30 seconds then you want to take your q-tip right here and once it's dried for a while I hope it's dried for long enough yeah see okay you may not be able to see this because it's not very big but if you had try to clean it up right away it would smear and then your concealer would be messed up I have I have face makeup on right now I have quite a bit because I'm about to film but you don't want to mess up and have to redo all your face makeup you just want to like wait for it to dry like 30 to 60 seconds and then take your q-tip got a little foundation but not all of it so okay so 
so I'm just kind of building it up. You see about how much is on there? Yeah, it's like, it's black, it's defined, but it doesn't look super clumpy, you know what I mean? And let's say I did get it clumpy. So what you do then is you take your spoolie brush that I talked about, and you get in there like over here, it's a little extra clumpy. So I'm gonna take this and kinda comb through it. And try to get rid of that excess. Let me do the other eye and then I will come back. Okay, so there it is, super up close. <laughs> okay, so those are my tips on how to apply the mascara. I'm gonna go film some videos and then come back and show you how I take off my mascara here in a little bit. Okay, I'm back for step number six. Make sure you remember to remove your mascara before bed. It's so important. You don't wanna lose eyelashes as you sleep and when they're coated in mascara, they're more brittle and they're more likely to break off and it's gonna like stain your pillowcases and all that stuff and it's just a good habit to get into at early life, taking off your makeup before bed and washing your face before bed. It's gonna keep your skin looking nice and clean and fresh and that's what everyone wants. So I take my cotton pad and I get it pretty soaked through. And then what I'm gonna do is take the cotton pad and press it down over my eye for about 15 to 30 seconds. I'm just like letting it kind of dissolve through those different coats of mascara, like I said. I'm not scrubbing, I am kind of wiggling my finger, but I'm not scrubbing or tugging at my skin around my eyelids. Then I wipe. See how much came off. And so I got a good majority of that eye off. Okay, so now I have taken off both sides of my mascara. You can probably tell a little bit of a difference. There's still a little bit of residue, right? You can still kind of tell I have some black around my eyes. So what I would do at this point is jump in the shower and wash my face with my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. I use it at night even though it's Morning Burst. It's the orange one. And when I do that, it breaks down even more of the little bit of remnant of mascara and eyeliner that I might have on. And when I get out of the shower, I typically have just a little bit of like grayish black like mascara stuff under here. So I take a third cotton pad, put not quite as much of this um, makeup remover, but just kind of get it a little bit damp with the makeup remover and then just wipe away anything that's left. And then my eyelashes are super, super clean and ready to go for tomorrow when I put on my mascara. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out or you enjoyed it. I will see you guys tomorrow with another bonus Devo video for you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then. Okay, bye.